Hey everybody, it's Maze. I never expected the previous video to blow up so quickly the way it did a month or so ago. I would have never guessed either. So many people are curious, interested, or are currently playing on World of Warcraft private servers. I'd assumed everyone did what I did and had just jumped over to Final Fantasy XIV to get their MMO fix. And I enjoy Final Fantasy XIV, don't get me wrong. It just didn't pull me in the way I wanted to. And now I understand why, like most of you I assume, I just want World of Warcraft. In the previous video, I compared two of the more popular vanilla-based servers, Turtle Wow and Vanilla Plus. I'll link them up above and again at the end of the video, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. I decided that Turtle Wow fits what me and a few friends are most looking for in a vanilla World of Warcraft experience. The server and community are amazing. The added content that I've seen already is great. And with class reworks coming out and a patch right around the corner, it feels like the best time to jump in and join this community. And hopefully a lot of you will agree and feel the same way. I would love to see the community over here grow. It's already growing at such a fast rate and the more people we bring in and keep that mentality of a friendly community, just the better experience it's going to be. So without further delay, let's jump into a few things that should help you get started over at Turtle Wow. I'm going to talk about a slight UI change that you may need to make in your WTF folder, the two new races, technically four modes that you can choose outside of the original way of leveling. And then finally, I'll jump into the add-ons and show you guys how to install add-ons, where to find add-ons, and yeah, let's do it. One small issue that you may run into shortly after jumping into game is if you're trying to switch over to windowed mode, and to get this taken care of, it actually only takes a quick second. If you're trying to set the game to window or full window mode and you're getting a black screen, you need to add a line to the config.wtf folder. This takes a few seconds and once done, you're good to go. Head to wherever you installed Turtle WoW, click on the WTF folder and from there open the config.wtf with something like notepad and add the line set space GX window and the number one in quotes and i'll link that down below as well and then go ahead and save this happens a lot with dual monitor setups also if for some reason your resolution isn't staying when you log out and log back in you can also check right here and change the resolution if you need and then again save now for new players getting started it just takes all right who am i kidding we all know how to get started this is world of warcraft pick your class decide on a race and go the first thing you'll notice is the addition of goblins on the horde side and high elves for the alliance. For new players, it's important to note right now that this server is cross-faction. You'll run instances, group with, raid, share guilds, and talk to those of the opposite faction. And no, you cannot go to the other factions, towns, and cities, because why? Well, they still hate you. Both races have their set classes and each start in their own area. These are not fully new areas, but they are areas we already know with additional content and quests added to serve as a starting hub. Goblins start in the Venture Camp, located in the northern area of the Stone Talon Mountains. If you roll with the High Elf, you'll start at Far Strider Lodge, located in East Lokmadan. Both have a short starter quest chain, and once completed, you're able to teleport out. It'll throw you out in Goldshire and I believe the crossroads for the goblin, and there you'll be able to continue your journey. And right from the start, you're going to see small new things sprinkled about, like the two farmhouses and the quest chain located between Goldshire and Stormwind. It's little things like this that caught my attention right away when I started playing Turtle WoW. Regardless of what class and race you pick, one of the very first things you want to do is decide if you want to try one of the four additional modes offered by Turtle WoW. Each starting area has an NPC Glyph Master where you'll find three options for changing how you level. The Glyph of Exhaustion prevents you from gaining rested experience, but weapon skill gain is doubled. Glyph of the Turtle slows your experience gain from creature kills by half and you lose 5% of your experience on each death. Glyph of the War permanently flags you for PvP, increasing your experience gain from all sources. Uh, this effect does persist after reaching level 60, and these glyphs can be removed by talking to one of the Glyph Masters again, but once they're removed, you cannot reacquire them, so make sure you're done with it when you take it off. And for the fourth leveling game mode offered by Turtle Wow. And that is the hardcore mode. It's the Iron Man mode. Death here means your spirit is forever lost to the Twisting Nether and unable to return to the material plane. So when you die, it's game over. If you accept this brutal fate, 
you'll be removed from the newcomers guild and placed into the hardcore community guild called still alive you cannot group or trade with non-hardcore players you're also unable to use the auction house and you can only accept mail that has no attachments on it so luckily you can still get those letters from your mom or your loved ones before your inevitable death and the appeal to going the turtle route or the hardcore iron man leveling route is that you will be rewarded for your progress once you get to level 60 and during your leveling process you'll be awarded bags different cosmetics and you just really get to test your skill on a new character and it gives you a reason to level alts instead of just to level alts the glyphs of exhaustion and war can be acquired at any level um, the glyph of turtle and hardcore option has to be activated at level one so make sure you do that if that's something you want to do because once you level they're no longer available and finally to the add-ons if we're going to play world of warcraft we're going to need add-ons and on turtle wild that's no exception if you go ahead and jump on Google and search for some, you're going to get taken to GitHub a lot. There are two websites with pretty good databases that I suggest. The first being shagu.org. They have PFUI. They have PFQuest. They also have an add-on for PFQuest, which supports the Turtle Custom Quest. It's not all in there, but some of it is, so that's going to help out. If you don't like the dark interface, like the one that I'm currently using, they also have another one called Shagu Tweaks, which adds several quality of life features to the default interface. It has a very vanilla look to it. It's really nice as well. And another website you can try as well is Legacy Wow slash Vanilla Add-ons. If you look over on the left-hand side there, they have a little, little panel there, which has all your classics. Just go ahead and click on the links and sort through and then you can just go through all the different add-ons see which ones you want again most of these are going to work there are going to be some that you have problems with so you can always go to the forums and ask about them there now once you get your add-ons downloaded you're going to unzip them and you're going to go back to your turtle client where turtle wow is installed on your computer you're going to go to interface you're going to go to add-ons and you're going to put the folder for the add-on directly into the add-ons folder and you want to make sure that it is only one level away from the TOC document. So here's Bagnon. The folder reads Bagnon. When I go in, immediately I see the TOC file. If this is deeper in folders, the add-on will not work. Also, if the file name does not exactly match the TOC file, it won't work either. So make sure, like Atlas Loot Quest, TOC, Atlas Loot Quest. Sometimes they add like a dash master or something else to the end of the folder. So you'll always want to delete that. So again, just make sure we got cell value. Should go in. We should see cell value TOC document. It matches exactly and you should be good to go. And it took me a little bit of asking around to find these two websites and find a lot of the add-ons, find out which ones worked and which ones didn't. And I've come up with what I feel is a pretty good starting add-on folder. I got Atlas Loop. Now remember, any of the items added by Turtle Wow are not going to show up in that because this is the vanilla-based Atlas Loop. Attack bar timer. Progress bar for you and your enemies' attack speed. I got Bagnon because I like having everything in one big bag. Cartographer, which is a map add-on. I got KOH threat because I will be tanking. And DPSing in dungeons, very important to keep track of your threat. Long cam so I can zoom back out really far. Looking for turtle is automatically added. This is their dungeon finder. Move anything. I don't need it. I may disable this because I'm using the PFUI interface. But if I ever switch, this works kind of like bartender. I couldn't get bartender to work. So I picked up move anything. That allows you to move the frames and stuff on your UI. My role play because there's a lot of role players here. Let's see if there's anybody. I don't think there's anybody around here that has anything. But I went ahead and installed that since I'm going to be leveling. I'm going to be running into a lot of different people. So it's definitely cool. Omni CC is crucial. This is one mod that I always have to have. And that's a cooldown count for every spell and every ability in the game. Recap. Rested Experience. The Rested Experience add-on is important for Turtle because the tents that people set up will increase the rate at which you gain Rested Experience. And if I go over here, should Tooltip pop up here? And yeah, it shows that I'm at plus 24,000, which is 150% rested experience. So that comes in handy. Turtle Menage Ray is installed by Turtle Wow. I got the vanilla graphics boost. 
Uh, I was using Vanilla Storyline. It has a cool little pop-up box and tells the quests like in a little story mode. And then I have PF Quest with the PF Quest Turtle Wild database added on. And then the PF UI, which is the custom interface that I'm using right here. And so far, I haven't had any errors with any of them, and they're all working super, super fine. And that pretty much wraps it up. I've been having a lot of fun in my short time over here on Turtle Wow. So, yeah, I just wanted to drop a short video showing you what to expect and help you get started over on Turtle Wow. Hopefully, this helps some of you understand the different choices you have for leveling, how to get your windowed mode to work, and where to find add ons and what add ons work. As always, I appreciate everyone that took the time to watch the video. Like and subscribe if this helped you out, or. If you would just like to help me out, everybody take care. I'll see you again in the next video.